So what is going on YouTube? My name is Meho and welcome to your 30th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna go through over custom directives in Angular and how to create one and basically how to work with them. So let's get started. All right, in the last video we covered what directives are, how many types of directives are there, essentially just two. What are inbuilt directives and we looked at examples of each now let's just come to custom directives and uh, it's just basically simple stuff what we have done so far comparing with that right so we can just go to our code and right here i can open my inbuilt terminal here and i can say ng generate directive and let's just say i create a directive which is red black and I'm just gonna tell you what that means. So I wrote ng generate directive, it created me two files and updated the module. Let's just see what it updated inside our module file. You can see that it added red black directive inside declarations, right? And it has included that as well. Very nice, very nice. Now what we can do is uh, just look at this red black directive.ts file here. And you can see that it has a selector of app red black. Now what Angular does is that it prefixes your directives with something so that you do not clash with Angular's inbuilt or some other libraries inbuilt directives by mistake. So this is just a, a security measure you can say from angular team you can change this to whatever you want but i'm just gonna keep it this way and this is basically the directive name you need to add to your um, html elements in order to let this directive run so i'm just gonna go right here and i'm gonna create a paragraph and i'm gonna say this paragraph paragrph is a normal one and I'm going to create another one and say this paragraph is a custom directive one and I'm going to add this app red black direct so now let's just code what this app red black directive would look like okay so the obvious thing we need to customize the HTML element we are working on is first of all get that element right so right here we do not see any way to get that element so what I'm going to do is inject a dependency of that element and I'm going to instruct Angular to give a reference, give me reference to that element. So what it does is that it gets us to that particular element on which I have placed this directive. So as a matter of fact, let's just console log this EL guy right now. So now if we go to browser and see and resolve uh, actually vs code always gets this wrong this should be just angular core right and now if we go here you can see that we get this as paragraph is a custom directive one but inside console we get this element reference so you can see that we get a native element reference and once we get that native element it's the same as the one on the page so we can mess around with that so let's just mess around with that I'm gonna say el dot native element now this gives us access to the p tag we have on the web page so I'm just gonna style it and say um, color or text color I don't remember really let's just assume it's text color make it white and I'm gonna do the same thing with the background color and make it black. Let's just see. Yeah, it should be actually color. Or should it be? Background color is black, color is white. <laughs> okay. That makes it work, but I don't really remember what the property name was here. Let's just take a look from here only. Element or style dot 
color is white style dot text font what the hell is this okay so it was running some now what's happening let's just save this and reload it again damn you angular you were running a cached copy or something so yeah this works uh, we have a custom directive which is customized according to our needs right so yeah so what i can do is basically um, say something like el dot native element um, dot inner text plus equals to rendered by app red black so you can just add a notice or something like this or actually uh, okay uh, rendered by app red black we get it like this but what I want is okay so let's just take a look if I add a debugger here go to console you see that this directive is called before the element is rendered so at this time what happens is that the directive we are this thing we are working on is empty so we do not have access to whatever inside this element is so again you can add something like ng on init here and add a debugger call here as well play this thing reload play this one and now you can see that ng on init is called after the content is rendered so this is why messing around with content inside constructor would not work and you would need to place your stuff like this inside your ng on in it and we can just create this element as element ref uh, we can just say this dot element is el and then inside ng on in it i'm just gonna say this dot element yep hit on play reload this guy and you can see that it's now in order this paragraph is a custom directive one rendered by app red black so this is basically how you would work with custom directives in angular and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications